A Fox 5 I-Team investigation prompts a local sheriff to ask state and federal authorities to look into allegations a deputy demanded sexual favors from a suspect. Now, this case stems from graphic comments secretly recorded by the woman involved. It's a recording now in the hands of investigators. Yeah, but Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis has a copy of that recording, too, and joins us now. Randy. Yeah, Rustin Sine, uh, Monroe County Sheriff's Deputy Bill Miller joined the department in April. He's been a Georgia cop since 2014, but it's this conversation with a woman he had earlier arrested that's now put his career in jeopardy. You can move here. I ain't gonna jump on your ass, I promise you. I mean, I'm good. I'm all right. On a lonely dirt road in Monroe County, an off-duty cop wants a woman he recently arrested to do him a favor, the kind a cop is not supposed to have in mind. No, I mean, job? No. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I think you like it, but no, I'm kidding. You probably would like it. No, I don't know about that. And he thought he had that advantage on me. But Ashley Roberts had other ideas. All right, Miss Roberts, come on over here with me. In July, Monroe okay. County Deputy Bill Miller arrested the 34-year-old Union City woman for suspected drunk driving and possession of meth. She made bond, and a few weeks later, says she got a call from Miller to meet her in a parking lot late at night. She told internal affairs investigators the same story she told us. Yeah. Miller put her in his personal Dodge Ram pickup, handed her a Coors Light, and drove them to this dirt trail off Freeman Road. I didn't think I had to record anything until I got to that dirt road. After I turned on that dirt road, that's when I knew something was fishy. The recorded conversation starts with her pending charges. Well, I know how I can get rid of them. Well, how is that? Well, I gotta just talk to the DA. Well, I know that's how you can get rid of them, but me, on the other hand. What's up to you? And that should have made me think. Ain't no police in their right mind gonna ask for information this time of night. The whole reason I gave you the beer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Leverage. Oh. What leverage would that be? <laughs> well, I got a unit sitting over there. So what are you trying to do? Are you trying to blackmail me or something? Yeah. Oh, it ain't gonna work. It so, won't? No. I'm just messing with you. Okay. <laughs> Do you think he was really just messing with you? No. What do you think he was doing? I think he was serious. On the 19-minute recording, Miller alternates between asking Roberts for the names of drug dealers and asking her to at least lift up her shirt. Sure, no boobs? Yeah, I'm sure. God, mighty. Sorry. Can you give me the dignity of a boob shot? Sorry. <laughs> One boob. One boob. Please don't fault me for that. I really don't want to have sex with you. I just with you. I have. <laughs> I mean, I would, because you're not a bad looking girl. You just, you just straighten your ass out. I'm not that type of girl. <laughs> I'm a good girl. I just hang out with the wrong crowd. I can do this out. Yeah. On the recording, you can hear Miller tell Roberts it's okay to toss that Coors Light out the passenger window. Then she says he drove them back to her car. So that must mean there's a can of Coors Light somewhere along this trail. We started looking and check out what we found. That is a can of Coors Light still in the bag with a receipt showing the debit card number of the person who bought it. Uh, Deputy Miller? Yeah. I need to ask you about um, a woman you arrested recently. Her name is Ashley Roberts. Remember her? No. You arrested her for drunk driving and then you met with her just last week and you, will be out here you offered her a chance to get her charges removed no, if she me, did buddy. sexual favors for you. Not me, buddy. Oh, yeah, we got the recording. Would you like to hear the recording? I've got it right here. You can listen to it. That same night, Miller's supervisor told him to turn around and surrender his badge and weapon. He's on paid administrative leave until the state and federal investigations are finished. We gave the department directions to that dirt road so investigators could recover that beer can and any fingerprints that might still be on it. I did the crime, I do the time. Yes, I was pulled over for DUI in possession. Yes, I'll take that charge. I'm not doing nothing to jeopardize myself. Ashley Roberts was on probation at the time of her DUI arrest. This week, a judge revoked that probation and sent her back to the Fulton County Jail. The deputy who arrested her for that DUI and heard on tape trying to blackmail her is on paid administrative leave while the investigation continues. Hmm. Now, Ashley doesn't have a lot of trust in police at this point, and understandably so. Yeah, that's why she came to us. Uh, she didn't uh, know if they would trust her, or at least uh, if they would believe her. Mm -hmm. So they brought, uh, she brought us the recording. We confirmed uh, the, the beer can that was out there and uh, then took our findings to the Sheriff's Department once we had a chance to talk to Deputy Miller.
Okay, and there's no real question that this is Deputy Miller's voice on that recording, right? Sure sounds like it, yeah. yeah. Um, and Sheriff uh, Shackelford, uh, Al Shackelford says, uh, over the phone at least, that they're shocked and disappointed and uh, uh, they're hoping uh, that they'll get to the bottom of this very soon. Yeah, we know you'll keep us posted. We will. Thanks, Randy. Thanks.